This podcast is sponsored by Eric's Concrete Pavers, Rock House Masonry, and Tahoe Pervious Pavements. When it rains, it drains. This is a glimpse into my life. Life with Eric. Eric's here. And I'm Kylie. And I'm Eric. Okay, I think we know who you are. Oh. So, how are you feeling this week, honey? Well, by the sounds of my voice, I'm feeling pretty <laughs> shitty. Let's call it my long, lash, long, week-long Nashville hangover. A delayed hangover? No, I I felt fine all week, then all of a sudden I got kicked in, I got this cold, so that's why yeah. I sound like I've been smoking 10 packs a day. Have you been smoking 10 packs a day? Yeah, me and my mom down at the smoking bar. So you've been sneaking out on me? Yeah, that's where I've been. I, after I leave for work, I, I meet my mom at the smoking bar. <laughs> so you're not even working. You're just going to meet your mom at the yeah, smoking bar. Yeah, she's gambling. Bar. And then, um, <laughs> actually, I don't even smoke. She just looks over at me and blows smoke in my face. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Lovely. I got this deep, bat, like, you, you Batman voice. I like the Batman voice. Kylie, Eric. go get Robin. I'm going to cough. <laughs> We're coughing. <coughs> I We're don't hacking. know why I'm coughing. Yeah, you you caught me. You, you, Kylie, you've caught my cough. <laughs> well, I, I can't remember what I was saying. <clears throat> you, know what I, you know what I sound like? We were watching that uh, impeachment. Oh, American Bill, Crime Story. Bill Clinton, yeah. Kylie. <laughs> you, you, uh, wait. Monica. <laughs> nice blue, nice dress. <laughs> What's that, a glazed donut on there? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> is, okay, that you, a, is that a pumpkin spice donut? <laughs> you don't sound like that, but that <laughs> does sound like Bill Clinton. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. I think, I mean, I do too. Monica. <laughs> take off that dress. I got to clean up some some stuff. Ew, ew, you're going too far. You know what? It's so funny. She never washed that dress for that long. Well, I know. Why did but she never because wash that dress? I kind of get it. Because dry clean, you, you leave your dry cleaning out and you That's put it true. in like we a bag. That's true. You have like a pile. But was yeah. she, it, according to the show, she wasn't saving the dress. That's true. For she, those, those of you who don't know, there was, um, 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 jizz on the dress. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even think. Of, I, don't, I don't know how I would describe Semen it. Semen on yeah, the dress. Oh, there you go. Semen on the dress. And then, um, the lady that was turning her in was panicking because she goes, "No, don't dry clean that dress." The DNA. You might, yeah. you might need that DNA. And at that time, there wasn't much DNA out. They just got done with the OJ thing, oh. and they discovered kind of, oh, we can use DNA. Oh. Or it's just pumpkin glazed donut. Don't worry about it. Are you saying pumpkin glazed donut because we have pumpkin glazed donut holes in the pantry? Because I ate like five this morning. Because <laughs> I, I felt nauseous. I had to go up to work today and I felt like kind of <clears> nauseous because like, I actually this morning I could barely talk. Now I feel my throat feels good. Oh, good. The only fucking thing I'm bummed out is I'm not having my usual drink. I'm drinking tea. You could have your usual drink. I could, but it didn't seem right. I should drink tea. Oh, okay. I was slurping tea and, and eating a pumpkin hole. Holes. A pumpkin what hole? What are they called? Pumpkin. It's a pumpkin donut hole. Oh, pumpkin donut hole, yeah. <laughs> Not a pumpkin hole. It <laughs> sounds like a hole. Everything's other... Halloween, dear. It, well, it's that time of year. Halloween. We're not even decorated at all. Uh, I we know. I'm going to do that this weekend. Yeah, you usually have some kind of pumpkins I was gonna, out. I have to go get pumpkins still. Do you want to go get them tomorrow? Yeah. I guess. I mean, I guess so. In between football games. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, no. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I was going to do it before we left to Nashville, and I didn't. And then, so now I have to do it now. And now I'm running out of time. Well, we got a couple weeks. We like Halloween. Uh, Halloween. Kylie, what Kylie's been doing for the last, literally, like, a week now that we got back from Nashville is she watches horror movies yes, for some reason. What I the love hell? That. I love scary movies. Scream. Oh, Th- this morning, favorite. Scream's I, my favorite. I, this afternoon, I'm laying in bed. I felt kind of sick, so I'm laying there, and I open my eyes, and it's The Seed of Chucky. Which I didn't actually want to watch The Seed of Chucky. You said you wanted to watch The Seed I was seed curious. Of it was really stupid. It was very stupid. But it's people like it. I mean, it's entertaining, though. I mean, I just put it on when it, Practical Magic was on commercials. Yeah, you, you're actually uh, pre- previewing and going back and forth between, like, scary yes, movies or correct. Halloween movies. Mm-hmm. And if, heaven forbid, if you cut them short, you have to watch the full movie. Well, just Practical Magic takes. It's one of my faves. <laughs> just wanted to see the ending. I had five minutes left. I didn't know Chucky, like, cussed and calling his wife a bitch and stuff. And I, I mean, I think that's been, like, the... That's the theme. He's just a rude 21st kid. century Oh, Chucky. 21st, the older Chucky. The newer Chucky. And, of course, the seed of Chucky doesn't have any girl or boy parts. It doesn't know what it right. wants to be. That's real, that's, that's real uh, politically correct right now. Yes, it is. And that movie came out a while ago, probably. Or maybe it didn't. So. I don't know. Chucky. Yeah, ch- the little seed. fucking doll with a, a knife. Yeah. Right. 
That's the weirdest thing. It is a really weird But it's weird creepy concept. as hell. My mom bought me that mask. And we, we had Emmy put it on, and she's crawling around with it on. It looks so... She, when an adult puts like it on, a, it doesn't look bad. But when, when a kid, kid puts, puts it on, on... Yep. She looks, looks like a creepy murderer. Wasn't that Eric Decker's wife, Jesse James Decker? Yeah. Didn't she dress her kid as... Oh, Chucky? no, that was her sister. Oh, that was hilarious. That she was has a little, great. like, three-year-old dressed in overalls. No, she was, I think, at the time, like, one and a half. Oh, that young? Like, with two, Chucky. maybe. Yeah. And she has red <laughs> hair, so she dressed her with Chucky. That was a great costume. It was a great costume. Any kid that dresses like Chucky is going to be free. People will be running. It's a little creepy. It's really, I mean, it was a good, good, good it idea. It is, yeah. When I was younger, there was a movie called It's Alive. Mm-hmm. And HBO had just, kind of just came out, and the uh, parents went out, so we snuck in on the TV. Oh. It's about a mom giving birth to a uh, a baby that eats all the doctors and everybody, and then crawls oh. around in the sewer. Ew. And then at the end of the movie, the mom discovers it and has a bond with the mom and doesn't kill the mom. Oh, that's nice. But the baby killed like twenty people in oh. between time, or okay. more, well, hundreds of people really. Oh, okay. it's a baby. It's, it's alive. Like a monster baby. Yeah. Okay. It's alive. Hmm. <laughs> I can say I've never seen that one. I had this weird little thought, and you're gonna think I'm nuts, and I've been thinking about it. All week. I always think you're nuts. You know how it is Halloween? Yes. Halloween. Yes. I thought of a new movie. What? Halloween. No. <laughs> that sounds like a porn. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Did you get it? I, I, I it's do so get stupid. It. I've been in it's my very I've been like driving around in my truck. Like, <laughs> that'd be a funny movie, Halloween. What is the premise of this movie? Well, it can star Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay. Because she stars in all the Halloweens. Oh, you know. And then um, who's that porn star guy we sat next to? Ron Jeremy. Yeah, Ron Jeremy will be the, will be the co-star. Okay. Starring in <laughs> Halloween. And what is it about? Oh, I didn't get that far. Oh, okay. It, I mean, use your imagination. <laughs> I mean, he's a pretty I'm, old. I mean, he's a pretty old guy. He probably does have a Halloween. I I'm, oh no. Okay. Oh, we saw him. We sat next to him. He's old we as did. shit. We did sit next to him. We had to we had to Google him and we had to make sure it was him. I knew it was him. You didn't believe me. And he was just with a regular family. It was just odd. You it know? was talking about. It's vitamins. not like we even watched his pornos or anything. We just no, knew I about never. Him. I can honestly say I've never I, seen a porn with him. And actually, that. I never have either. So I so, just I don't know why we. No, his he was on some reality TV yeah. shows and stuff. We had seen him on, but his face was recognizable. Yeah. But um, he was just sitting there eating dinner, talking about vitamins. He now can star in the new movie. Your Jamie name? Lee Curtis and Ron Jeremy in hmm, okay. Halloween. Okay. <laughs> Well, um, I, that, I don't know why it says it's so ingenious. <laughs> I is it ingenious? Yeah. You know what the funny thing is? I starred last week or the week after in right. a slasher film. You did. I got a part in a movie playing the creepy banker Ted. Ted, Ted I did, I did not Ted, know his name was Ted. Yeah, Ted the creepy banker. <laughs> and basically, I had well, I had a two day shoot, but one bigger day where I did my scenes, and basically, I got killed by the killer. Who put a oh. wire? Yeah, who put a wire up? I'll put it on social media. I got some pictures. Who put a wire up? And I got clotheslined by a piano wire and Ooh, slit my throat slice. and got and clumped over, slumped over and hung on the piano wire. Mm. So, and then the killer came back, pulled me off the piano wire, and dragged me down the hall. I don't know how it's gonna look or whatever because it felt when you film a horror movie like that, it feels cheesy and stupid when you're doing it. Right. But I think when they, put the music the, and stuff. when they put the music and the darkness into the movie, yeah. you know, it might be different. A whole but, different. But when you're, like, filming it, it's like they put the piano wire up with these little sticky things so, so anybody can blow through it, right? So then you actually didn't No, it wasn't yourself. a piano wire. I mean, I, I, I could have I did anything with that thing. It was just a real thin wire. Oh. It was not even. Oh, they put it up so if you did blow through it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't actually it'd blow slice off the, your neck. It'd blow yeah, off the wall, it. but I kind of just stopped at the wire. It. Cut my neck, but but the pictures look pretty cool. The the makeup is good. I did, I did yeah. see those pictures, and yeah. it did look good. I know, but it just seems cheesy to do. But I don't know. We'll see how it plays out. You you played a very good dead guy. I played a very good creepy banker Ted. I guy didn't too. see that though. I just saw the dead dead Ted. Oh yeah, the poor guy that was dragging me down the hall was about <laughs> half my <laughs> size. <laughs> He could barely pull me. He's like, how much do you weigh? I'm like, uh, don't worry the, about it. Shut the fuck up. Just pull, <laughs> can't you pull me in the tarp? <laughs> My favorite part in some of those takes was that your shirt would come up, like right up, and he would like pull it down for you. <laughs> I don't think they're going to keep that in the movie <laughs> because yeah. my shirt rolled up and he pulled it. Oh, sorry. T- he goes, sorry, Ted. No one, no, no one wants to see that fat belly hanging out of there. That's in fact. <laughs> that was my favorite. Like, oh, let me pull that down for you, Ted. I know. That was weird. I, they might even keep that in there, actually, because it might be a little bit of a comedy. I don't know. If I don't, yeah. I don't know. Well, I don't, like a dark comedy, like Scream. I don't know what kind of movie this whole thing was, but but anyway. Um, well, we'll see. I got the part and did it. And it, was, and, uh, it turns out, though. What? That. Because we filmed the first scene at the end of the movie, so I was in the killer's costume, but I'm not the killer. But it was my clothes that the killer wore. Oh, because so yeah, and the killer I think is a woman. I 
Oh, don't sorry, ruin people. It. I didn't read the whole yeah. script. <laughs> I had oh, one little no, part. Don't, don't yeah. give a spoiler. We don't oh, know. Yeah, like everybody. Be, it's not. You know it's what? It's not like the. It's not like the blockbuster Halloween. Halloween that's coming out. <laughs> Halloweeny. <laughs> you know what was really freaky? <laughs> no. That show we watched on Netflix, The Cecil Hotel. I mean, yeah, that was kind of weird. No, that's Halloween shit. We should have watched that. That was that like on real. No, it's like a documentary. You. Yeah, that watched that this summer. Turns out the girl. Just that was found in the water tower. She was just cra- taking her meds. She stopped taking her meds. And that's what right. I said at the beginning of the movie. But You're right. Yeah. Those of you out there who haven't seen it, go s- watch the Cecil Hotel. It's a pretty good yeah. documentary, I guess that is called, right? Yeah. It's it kind of spooky and freaky. It was. What's your favorite uh, Halloween movie, Keeks? Favorite? <laughs> yeah, if you had to pick one to watch on Halloween night, what would you watch? Oh, I get torn between okay. two. Scream. I'm going to go with okay. Scream. I think Scream might be my favorite. Scream. You like all those... All those ones. I like Scream. Okay, that's pretty good. I like, um, um, we watched, uh, you know what you did last summer? Ooh, I love that one. That that's was a on good my, one. That's on my fave list. Sarah Jessica Parker, whatever yes. her name is. Uh, nope, that would be Sarah, Sarah Michelle Geller. Michelle, yeah. Sarah <laughs> Michelle Geller, yeah. Yes. We're not watching Sex in the City. No, we are not. But she is in Hocus Pocus. You know who should star in Halloween? Which is a good one. Halloween. Sarah Jessica Parker should star in Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, because she's been in Sex in the City. Oh, she'd okay. be right. She'd, she'd be, fit right in. Yeah, she'd fit right in. The whole in. cast. That'd be perfect, yeah. <laughs> Forget Jamie Lee Curtis is not casting that anymore. How come you're only casting people with three names? Right, that's how we do it. Oh, okay. That's how you do it in Halloween movies. <laughs> Actually, maybe you do. <laughs> your, what's your favorite scary was, Halloween movie, I scary I, movie? I won't tell you my favorite, because I don't really like scary movies that much. I'm, as I get older now, I know. I'm more enjoying them more, actually. After I started they make you watch them? Because they make you watch them all the time. Yeah, you make me watch them, but um, I do enjoy the Michael Myers Halloweens. Okay. And then the ones I won't watch is Carrie, where she gets all the blood dropped on her. mm -hmm. It's not even a Halloween movie or whatever. It was a scary movie, a horror movie. I had nightmares when I was a kid. I I, I won't even, I I don't even even know anybody named Carrie. Did you go to prom? Not with Carrie, I didn't. (laughs) I'll tell you that. If the, the hottest chick in the school. Was named Carrie. And she was naked. And she asked me to prom. And she said, My name's Carrie. You're going to be real lucky on prom night. I mean, do you want to go to prom with me? You'd say no. I'm Carrie. And I'd be like, Nope. No, I can't go. No. My mom said I can't go. My mom said I can't go. (laughs) (laughs) All right, then. You don't smoke? Oh, I can't go. You don't smoke. (laughs) My mom's going to smoke. She told me before this podcast, Can you not talk about my smoking? (laughs) She goes, I don't even smoke. Why are you talking about her smoking then? In all fairness, she doesn't really smoke. She doesn't really smoke. I mean, that much. (laughs) I mean, okay, on the weekends. Um, I mean, at the smoking bar. And when she has a drink, she's. If she's gambling. Only out. She doesn't smoke at home. Only when she's gambling. She doesn't smoke at home. Okay, Okay, now mom, I'll stop. Now I'll right, stop. I'm not going to talk about it, but I just talked about it for five minutes combined. She's like, no one wants to hear that. I'm like, actually, maybe they do. They might. Very popular. Maybe you could be in our Halloween movie, Mom. What oh. could she be? <laughs> Diane Irene Petrilla. She has three <laughs> oh, names, Oh, yeah, right? she used both three names. Yeah. Starring in? Halloween. Hollow Smoke. <laughs> Hollow Smoke. Is that like Smoky Hollow? This house is on. <laughs> Smoky, starring in Smoky Hollow. <laughs> That's a good one, Keeks. Thank you. I just came up with that. <laughs> I had my own horror movie the other day. You what? What is your horror movie? Okay, I'll just tell you because you wanted me to talk about this. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. Why is it a horror movie? <laughs> More like a like a trilogy here. Yeah, yeah, it could be. <laughs> It was a horror because we just got back from Nashville. My stomach's rumbling all day. Which it's been like was rumbling all weekend, my I add. I'll make this short <laughs> because the fart was short. <laughs> oh. I just went. I just went number two. Okay. And I came out of the bathroom at the condo up at the lake, and I had to fart. <laughs> so I figured I'm free and clear. So I just fart. Like, and except for you told me like you someone, pushed with like all your might. I did because I didn't just didn't have any fear. I had no fear at all. <laughs> and it's like I sat on a water balloon. I'm like, God damn it! But it was no big deal. It was all clear. Which here's my question: What clears things came out of you? It wasn't water? It was like stomach acid or something? Yeah. Ass acid. It's like <laughs> ass acid. It's like colon juice. But anyway, that's my own horror movie. I'm like, <laughs> Shame myself. I had to wear a, a, a piece of toilet paper in my underwear. Do I need to like get you some pads? Yeah, probably. <laughs> um, those some everybody out there just don't 
don't do that. Don't, just don't, don't push as hard as you can. Don't force one out like that. Right, but. exactly. It's so funny that Marcus came in. He's like, oh, God, my stomach's been rumbling for three days. Because you guys thing. eat cheesesteaks at three in the morning. I know. That's the problem. You know what's funny in Nashville? It was one thing that when I just thought of Marcus here. What? So Marcus, oh. Marcus goes to the pool in Nashville, him and Mel. They see this guy. This guy's with his girl, and he orders these shots. So Marcus says, hey, I'm going to buy your He's sitting next to him. I'm going to buy your shots. Guy, no, no, I don't want you to buy my shots. I don't want you to buy my shots. So we run into the guy at the next bar, at the roof bar. And we Marcus, know later that night at the same bar, essentially, because they yeah. went to the pool, which yeah. is up at the pool. And it turns out this couple was at the same restaurant. Which night. we didn't know till later. Yeah, Mark buys this guy's shots again. The guy's drinking like $80 shots. I and see, Mark, they made it yeah, shots. and the guy's like, oh, my God, no one's ever bought me a shot. I feel, like, awkward and stuff like this. So then we go to another place. The same guy and girl are in there. So this guy sends shots to our oh, this table. this is the next night. The next night at dinner we saw him. Right. Yes. I'm, I'm trying to wrap this story up Oh, quick. but it's, we didn't see it. Well, I'm trying to see that it's been over time. It wasn't one night. Yeah, it was all three nights that we were yeah. there. Yeah. No, we running kept running into this guy, yeah. this couple. So then the guy buys us all shots. The whole table, eight of us, a round of shots. And so Marcus which, sends four oh. more back to his table. <laughs> <laughs> right. But which was a shot that we I had never heard of. None of us had ever heard of or tried. Yeah, the green tea. And it was actually tea. very good, and I was impressed. I was actually going there. That was good. Good t- cakes. Yeah. Um, the green tea shot, which is... Jameson, which we, I was like, uh-uh. Oh, this I is going to be great. And I believe it's like creme de menthe. I don't know. It tasted like green tea, It though. tasted like green tea, and it didn't have a burn. It went down pretty smooth, so... Yeah, and the podcast can, guy must will like that I one. I think we found a new shot. I'm not taking any shots. But <laughs> we figured that's how I got my cold, because we all took one shot. And then they got around another one. And I said, I am not taking another shot because of my past. And so um, <laughs> and so uh, I didn't take one. I'm the only one that's sick now right. from our crew. Well, take more shots. There you go. I know. So I, don't, I know I don't have COVID because no one else is sick. Right. Yeah. Maybe, maybe someone will get sick. I don't know. I think you have a cold, honey. I definitely have some kind of weird head cold going on. You have a cold. Has nice deep voice. You know who has a deep voice that I like? Uh, well, no. one you. I like when you you get kind of a husky, weird voice. Like if you had a hard night. I've kind of had a husky voice all week, actually. It's actually now starting to get better. Yeah, coming back. Yeah. Um, Megan Kelly. Oh, you I always do tell always you about that. that. Now she has a new radio podcast show. She just drive around like an ecstasy. No, no, she, <laughs> it's very political. You know, it's kind of political Republican type woman show. Right. But um, but she's a great voice. I really like her voice. <laughs> her and Delilah. Oh, you do. Elias like isn't husky though. You know who has a husky? You know, know what? What woman has a really husky voice? Ooh. Caitlyn Jenner. Oh my gosh! <laughs> really husky voice. Well, oh Lord! <laughs> <laughs> he does oh, kind of. She, like, she oh. does. She does. Not he. Hi, oh, Kylie. Well. No, it's not like that. <laughs> Oh. Happy Halloween. No. Something stop. Like, it's no. something like that. It's nothing like that. <laughs> Good try, though. Good try. I'm starting a new movie. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, she has a, a deep voice. She has a deeper voice. You're yeah. right. She, she's working on it to get it higher. I don't know if that's actually possible. I'm being politically correct here. I'm saying she you, you and Caitlin. You did it initially. I yes. never said anything about Bruce. He's <laughs> hiding in there somewhere. Oh, my God. I never said anything. I know. Well, you are now. Oh. <laughs> so... <laughs> Moot point. <laughs> Maybe I should get Caitlyn Jenner to star in the movie ha- 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 <laughs> oh Halloween. Because there's kind of some truth to that. Oh, no. I mean, right? Oh, I mean, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Say yes, or I'm not moving on. Forget Ron Jeremy. He's out. That doesn't make sense, right? Uh, the only reason Ron Jeremy wouldn't start because he's, he's old. He might have a dusty old ween. But a dusty ween. <laughs> anyway, be a good maybe, movie. Maybe you could start into the Smoky Hollow with your mom. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dust, can, smoke, well, I, you know. Uh, River and I are going to L.A. on Monday. Yes. So maybe I can go hit him up and ask him. Where, <laughs> okay. where does Bruce, uh, oh, I did it. Oh. Where's Caitlyn Jenner live? Uh, Malibu, right? Well, I think Malibu, yeah. Yeah, I'll go over there and see, offer the script to him. Okay, good luck. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. And Jamie yeah. Lee Curtis will hit her up, too. Oh, okay. It's like that one guy that said, just go look Chris people go, up. Just no, go, like, yeah. Can you go drop this off at Kate Hudson's house? Because I know where she lives yeah, and I'll she's going to let me. Yeah, I'll drop that script off. No <laughs> big yeah. deal. Mm-hmm. But, easy, um, easy. but uh, yeah, we're going down with River. His agent wants him to get some of these headshots. We're going to go down. And River's been auditioning all over the place. Yeah, he has he's gonna land. He's going to land some sooner or later. Might see uh, might see our, our friend. 
Joe LaMonica. Our friend and sponsor. He doesn't know it yet. Our, of course, our friend and sponsor. Let's hear from our sponsor. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Joe LaMonica with LaMonica Custom Builders. You want a custom home from a Southern California premier home builder? Call me, Joe LaMonica with LaMonica Custom Builders. 310-465-3347. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Joe's becoming our favorite sponsor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what um, was I saying, Joe? You're a hoe? <laughs> no, I do. We were warming up. You said you, you, are you are you like in a surprise attack, Joe? Like, hey, we're here. Oh, are we going to, yeah, we'll just probably knock on his door. We haven't called oh. him yet, though. He might listen. To, oh, he won't listen. It doesn't come not. out until Wednesday. comes out later, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, we're going to go to L.A. Oh, we'll be all, I think we have to be all masked up. and You are 100% Let's show vaccination cards yes, and all that stuff correct. down in L.A., yep. so I don't know what's going on. but Right. But uh, anyway, we'll, I'll let, I'll fill you in next week how it goes. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go, we're just going to go for a day. He's going to do his shoot, then we'll come back. All right. So it should be fun. Hopefully. Yes. <laughs> I say yes, dear. See how, how L.A. County is? Yeah. That doesn't sound quite as fun to me. I know. L.A. County, that is. I'm not, I I couldn't tell you how it is. I just it's all over the news, but I don't I know. know. I don't really know what's happening with all that stuff. We'll see, you'll see. I won't see. Right. You know what's kind of funny? I heard from what? my dad. What? And he was really excited about this. Adam Lambert is playing in Vegas. <laughs> like a show or like a residency? I think like a residency. Oh. Okay. And so he was excited. He, he was yelling from the back of the car or whatever <laughs> when I was talking to my mom and, and he's, he wants to go see it. Where Where is he playing? They don't know. They I don't know. That. Probably okay. where they stay. I don't know where they, they stay. They stay at Planet Hollywood. Yeah, probably at Planet Hollywood. But um, I said as Queen, he goes, no, no, his own stuff. Oh. So if you're an Adam Lambert fan out there, go ahead. <laughs> check him I out mean, in Vegas. Yeah, check him out in <laughs> Vegas. Maybe you'll, maybe you can you know, hang out with him. Maybe you can start my movie, ha- Hall- Halloween. <laughs> Why? Why does that as a qualifying factor? I don't think, no, he's probably, his wean's probably fine. I'm, I'm guessing it probably is. <laughs> it could be fine. <laughs> my, I, this is the funniest thing that happened today, though, and I'm just because we're talking about my dad. He left this note on the counter at the condo, and it said, made, comma. Did he spell, how did he spell made? M-A-I-D. Oh, okay. Just made. Make sure he spelled it right. He said, <laughs> made, comma. Nobody slept in the beds. So you don't need to remake them, something like that. And then she left him a note saying, "My name is Maria Mendoza." <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I just thought that was really. I funny. have a name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Made. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I should have took a picture. And you should have taken a he picture. Probably, well, he, he actually, he actually probably won't get mad because he won't really listen to this. Maybe. Right. I don't think he'll get mad. <laughs> no, he laughs at everything. My mom was like, "Why would he do that?" Because he wanted to let him know she didn't need I to do it. That. We're gonna go. We're gonna go watch. Well, most likely tomorrow. If I'm not, I think I'm. I sound pretty good. I'm not that sick right now. Um, it's more like, how do you feel? Yeah. How do you feel? I've got a little. I've got a little. Thanks to uh, A's, have a little, little DoTerra oil, oil thing I do for you at night to make you feel better. Shout out to A's and DoTerra. Oh, that's right. I didn't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Aislin oil regimen. Yeah, Aislin and DoTerra. Yeah, she puts oil on my feet, oil on my back, oil on my chest, and then and puts this humidifier thing on. With some oils in some it. Some breathe in it. It yeah. actually does help me sleep. I mean, almost as good as that z I took. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that I'm pretty sure. I took like a shot and a half oh of that, God. yeah. Yeah, which I was like, why are you taking mo- more? You, because I wasn't quite ready for bed yet. I had a sore throat. I hate sore and throats. And you were the like worst. laying there, and you could tell your it was starting to kick in a little bit. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay happening because you're like oh like relax you were getting real relaxed and then you the sequel was kicking in yes this morning you were talking real fast and kind of slurry like i am now <laughs> no. like i always do no fast you was a fast the only feedback we get on this podcast is why do you slur your words here? are you drunk <laughs> yeah you kind of sounded drunk this morning and i was like can you drive are i you felt safe? real like i felt like i couldn't drive this morning oh you yeah. i was a little worried at i first. was fine with by the time i ate those donut holes got the, that's why i got <laughs> something to eat i said donut. i need something to my favorite coat which, my stomach this morning we we're both leaving and you walk back oh i needed tip money so i came back in for five dollars and you came in and i thought you had to like go to the bathroom or something so i was like oh you're you're back and you're like i needed some donut holes <laughs> I'm like, it's okay. Only you think that's that funny. I don't think that's funny at all. Whose car's running? You're getting in the car. Get back out to get donut holes. 
<laughs> I have no idea. Right. <laughs> they tasted so good, though. <laughs> oh, God, I could eat the, so many donut holes. Oh. <sighs> Those pumpkin spice ones. I only I'm get them when we have river. Yeah. Between me and him. And it, it, it's always funny because you're always saying, Oh, my God. We always leave, like, one in the box That's or an empty box in the pantry. Oh, That's my a, pet peeve. And me and River always do it. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, I go in the pantry, and there's one hard-ass donut hole, but nobody will throw it away. Right. Why? I don't know. It's, like, the last bite of my food I don't eat. I leave it. Well, it's the just same throw idea. it away. Who cares? If you throw it away, I'll buy a new box. If you leave it in there, it might not. I don't get it. Well, I don't, we don't think about that. I don't know why. Yeah. If I, how do, do I know it to bug you? How do I know it's <laughs> empty if you don't throw it away? I don't. We right. don't know. Exactly. I don't know. I'm sure nobody out there does that. I'm sure a lot of people I do I bet that. you most men do that. Women probably I don't, don't do that. It's hard to tell. It is. That's the battle. It is the battle. The pantry battle. <laughs> I know. You know, it's kind of funny, and I want I want to try this. What? I want to pull <laughs> a little bit. Me. I want to pull a little bit of this song up. You know that song, um, Stacy's oh, Mom yeah. has got it going on. I just want to do this, Keeks. I know you th- don't know if I have the Weirdly, technology to do this. Weirdly, they played that in Nashville. They did play that. One of the songs. <laughs> yeah. They played, yeah, they played that. That's right. Some band did play that. Stacy's Mom. Yeah, that was pretty good. But anyway, this chick, Jax from American Idol, she did Stacy's Mom from the mom's perspective. And I was going to play a couple so bars. She's yeah, like like instead the, of the kids singing about Stacy's Mom, this is Stacy's yeah. Mom and it's true with responding. Hi- yeah, just singing a song uh, in her perspective, basically. Okay. But it's so funny because young boys, when someone ha- does have a hot mom, they kind of want to gather at the house and see the mom. Oh. Girls don't do that, I'm sure. Like I young girls say, oh, I want to see your dad. No. I mean, maybe in my case, you know, I mean, so Skylar's friends, all, maybe yeah, Skylar's friends all came over. <laughs> Skylar's dad has got it going on. Is that <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Probably shouldn't sing that with this voice here right now. Right, but it's fine. I'll sing it next week when my voice is back. You don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> but any, <laughs> but anyway, take a listen to a couple bars here, and then we'll comment on it. Okay. Stacy, why is your boyfriend being super weird? Super weird. He's been on a lawn since your father did it disappear. Disappeared. Oh my God. Ask me thirteen times about your dad's affair. Your dad's, dad's affair. affair. Plus, I think he's been <laughs> well. I like my that. It's interesting. Isn't that funny? And yes. then the next verse goes. Um, I think I'm missing some of my underwear. Oh eh, eh, no. Eh. Underwear. So, <laughs> so it's funny. like the this creepy teenager is being a creeper, and she's like, S- "Like, come on, buddy." Right, and then um, it's funny. This chick put that up on TikTok, oh. and she put it up and got a, before she went to bed at a hundred views. When she woke, it woke up, up, she had a million views. Holy shit! I know, isn't that crazy? That's why she got on TikTok. Doing what? Doing song parody songs like that. You, so okay. we can't really sing. Right. I don't know what we could do. Uh, yeah, exactly. Life with Eric. You can't sing and you can't dance. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll probably never figure social media out, but uh, we're trying. Not. <laughs> I'm getting better at social media. I'm not as stupid as I was, but I'm still stupid on trying to figure it out. I'm just bad about like taking pictures and things like I that. Know. Well, the only way we promote and push this podcast is social media, <laughs> which <laughs> sucks, suck man. At it. Oh. <laughs> and that that was like when we first started out doing the podcast. We were like, you know what? Like we could do this, but I don't think we can do the other part. It's really right. hard to do. It is hard. Uh, I mean, okay, <clears throat> especially when you do that, right? Live on the air, mm-hmm. but um, actually attractive. we're not live, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. But anyway, we're gonna have a great day tomorrow. Football, Sunday. football, Arizona Cardinals take on the San Francisco 49ers. I am a little excited about this. You're I, not super bored. No, I like when the Cardinals play. I will give you that. I she do, likes the coach's tight pants. I do that. <laughs> I have a weird question for you. What? I don't. I, the baseball game's on right now. Oh, We're going to go out and watch the uh, right. Giants and the Dodgers. And the Dodgers. Do you look at the weans of baseball players or just football players? Both. I do all of them all. But don't baseball players have cups in? Yeah, it's kind of rounded. Yeah, it's not really quite as fun. Football players just have an outline. They just, yes. I do I do check it out, but it's not as fun. Not because baseball players adjust, but it's not like Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Football players, like, never adjust. Not really. Yeah. Sometimes. 
Every once in yeah. a while, the camera will accidentally get like a real good yeah. adjustment. You realize these men have eyes. <laughs> like, look them in the eye. Don't be looking at their crotches. Oh, all the pot, time. Ch- pot calling the kettle black over there. Why? You do realize that women also have eyes. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they have eyes on their tits? So, I guess I... I <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, they keep staring at me. I guess I like October for all these tight pants. I thought all girls had brown eyes. No. Oh. <laughs> they don't. Yeah, so October. Well, October is breast cancer month, too, so you'll... <laughs> so, that's that's more of a your month. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> When's prostate month? Where's, like, testicle month? I need Testy that. Testy month? That's yeah. next month. That's November, <laughs> yeah. I think. The purple. <laughs> Weirdly, it's purple. I think that's prostate. Yeah, weirdly, it's purple. Yeah. Well. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be a big day of ween. ween checking out those Halloweens tomorrow. Yes, lots of Halloweens. <laughs> it's a great movie. That's the next Oh, thing. no. God. Just a bunch of crotch shots. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty funny, but Keeks. Yes. <laughs> it's that time. Last call. We got any cheers today? Yeah, I do have a cheers. What? I'm going to cheers, which you just kind of brought up. I want to cheers the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, I that's a give, good cheers. I want to give them some props, which they totally deserve. We're going to cheers in Cliff Kingsbury. We're going to cheers Kyler yep, Murray. Yep. We're going to cheers Larry Fitzgerald and that, that rock really hard playing, ass. But it's fine. What's that? But that's why you like Larry that's Fitzgerald, right? that one receiver right? that's real good, too. Um, I can't think of his name. Oh, um, he always catches well, Ho- Hopkins. Yes, Snoop Dogg. Yep, I call him. I call it Kyler Murray, Mighty Mouse, and Hopkins Snoop Dogg. But yeah, Arizona Connors yes. four and zero, going to be five and zero. I yep. So cheers to them yep. and good luck tomorrow. Excited for that game. I am. Cheers, boys. Make it happen. <laughs> Make it happen. Subscribe or follow us on wherever you listen to our podcast, or go to our website at www.lifewitheric.com. Dot com. And don't forget to follow us on social media for updates and a closer look into my life with Eric. To all of our listeners out there, remember, it's always happy hour here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Love you, baby. Love you. Made it through. <laughs> Your voice survived. Uh, that won't be able to talk for a week. <laughs> Shoot. Your luckiest day. Your luckiest day ever. <laughs>